how many stories, how many poems are we going to need to create and tell and live before there is a kind of deeper cultural change and shifting? How many? I don't know, but let's talk about that today. You see, today is really a kind of uh, follow on to last week's podcast where we talked about this idea of change and um, how we help each other change through story. And so this week, I want to talk about this idea of change itself or how humans change. And there's a little piece that I wrote uh, called How Humans Change a Pickle Juice Story. It goes like this. Starts with a kind of little tongue in cheek. Um, the whole poem is short, but this first little piece is tongue in cheek, but there's a serious message. If we keep potato chips in the cupboard, if we keep potato chips in the cupboard, we'll have lower odds of a slimmer success. If an open bottle of wine is chilled and waiting in the refrigerator, a wine glass fits easier in hand. If we demand perfection in all we do and say, then the days may get long and all our sad results even longer. We argue about free will, but the real question is free will not. So if your jam is dancing, so if your jam is dancing, tell pride and vanity to just step aside. Make yourself into a cucumber. Make yourself into a cucumber looking for a just right marination. Sweet, sour, or hot. It's your life, sweet, sour, or hot. It is your life. You know the kind of juice you need. Listen, listen, we humans are malleable. Listen, we humans are malleable. We are social animals with an irreducible degree of rascality. We are part light. We are part light, part shadow, a strange, delightful mix. So let's not deny our unique cucumberness, nor doubt the power of pickling. But if forced to choose, but if forced to choose, let's just say most pickles going to be a lot like their juice. But if forced to choose, but if forced to choose, let's just say most pickles are going to be a lot like their juice. How do human beings change? Well, my sense is that we are um, social animals. We live on story. We make sense of the world of the world with story. We make sense of our own lives with stories. And those stories have beliefs embedded in them and actions embedded further uh, that come from those beliefs. And the notion is that that becomes um, way up river to uh, the way we are in the world. We talked last week about the idea that changing together, changing the narrative together is what is so important because we are social animals. We both um, create stories and then those stories create us back. We both create community and the living cultural stories and beliefs underneath those stories, embedded in those stories, and then they create us. And also, there is this notion 
of a complex contagion for these big changes, these changes that are going to be required for the political, social, and ecological predicaments, overshoot, ecological overshoot, and all its symptoms. There's a, there's the idea that that uh, a complex contagion uh, is says that in order for us to change unlike a one and done thing that we often need multiple stories, multiple connections with friends and influencers. We need multiple connections with the new story, with the new stories, with letting go of the old, with hospicing the old stories and midwifing the new, that it's not some simple kind of one and done kind of thing that it's going to require many stories many contagious connections in this case not like flu um, or any virus in this case we want the contagion to work on all of us in order to create a world that actually is built um, to comport with uh, reality <laughs> with physics with some sense of sustainability. So how many stories is it going to take? Uh, or how many stories must we create and tell and live? Well, I don't know, but I am convinced that this metaphor of the pickle and the pickle jar and the pickle juice, that of course we have independent proclivities. Of course, we're each an individual expression of life. However, we are also incredibly social animals. And if we pickle ourselves, if we surround ourselves with the just right stories, with the just amazing relationships with each other, with other animals, and with the earth itself, of which we are not separate, then we will begin to live into this new story that we are trying and working on birthing. Thanks so much for your listening here. As always, take good care of yourself. And until next time and next poems, um, again, take care of yourself. And if you can, someone else.